ladies and gentlemen, horses will be coming out for the ninth race here at Maywood. Perfected trifecta wagering. This is the second half of the late daily double. This is the Windy City Stake Eliminations. Dale Heitman will drive number eight, High Hose Silver Hills. Horses are on the track. Three minutes, just three minutes, so pause. Racing fans, going back to Belmoro's ninth race, we had a claim number three anticipating was claimed. Brian Yusko, new trainer owner for three anticipating. And now ladies and gentlemen, with two minutes of pause, here are the horses and drivers for the ninth race. And your possible daily double payoffs, completing the eighth race winner, Clancy number three, with number one, Junket and Ron Marsh. $143.20. Number two, Keystone Luther and Roger Hammer, $91.40. With number three, Water Tower and Dave McGee, $52.60. Number four, Broadway Legend and Ron Guy, $450 even. With number five, Pacific Rocket and Jack Moisev, $26 even. Number six, Duke Duke and Joe Anderson, $182.80. With number seven, Reality Check and Gino Toscani, $680.20. And with number eight, High Ho Silver Heels and a driver change to Dale Heitman, $39 even. That's the field for the Windy City Stake Eliminations. Please keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, the first four finishers will qualify to come back for next Saturday, Friday night's final uppers. $350,000. One minute to post, just a minute. Time of the turn. Here they come. And we're off. Pacific Rocket between horses for the lead. There goes Keystone Luther. Joined on the inside by Junket. Into the turn and Keystone Luther opens up a length and a quarter. Pacific Rocket charging at him in second. Here comes High House Silver Hills. Moving into third. Junket in fourth. Water Tower in fifth. Two lengths back to Broadway Legend, followed by Duke Duke and Reality Check Trilling. Approaching the quarter, it's a battle for the lead. That first quarter. 28 seconds flat and Pacific Rocket has the lead sprints clear. On the inside, Keystone Luther into second, High Ho Silver Hills looks to drop in third, but Junket is right there and fourth by three lengths. Then comes Water Tower Duke Duke. It's Broadway legend and still training the field. Reality check. Heading for the half mile marker, Pacific Rocket is your leader, two lengths, Keystone Luther. 56 and won the races half over. Into the clubhouse turn, Pacific Rocket maintains the lead a length and a quarter. Keystone Luther is getting the trip second, but High Ho Silver Hills is now third on the outside. Food on the outside of us is Water Tummer. Junket has nowhere to go. Now they curve into the back stretch. It's Pacific Rocket with the lead. High Ho Silver Hills is on the outside trying to come on second. Keystone Luther followed by Water Tower Junket three quarters. 125. Now they drive into the far turn. It's Pacific Rocket two and a half lengths. Keystone Luther tries to come on second. High Ho Silver Hills and Water Tower. Here they come, turning for home, and Pacific Rocket opens up the lead now with every stride. A late move on the outside by Water Tower as they come to the wire. It's Pacific Rocket with the lead. Pacific Rocket, Water Tower close for third. Big mile, ladies and gentlemen, 153, two fouls. Number five. Here's your ninth race rundown at Balmoral Top Down. Ninth race, 2 one, three. 976 854 158 and 4. 
Number one, Junket finished third. Number eight, Hi Ho Silver Hills was four. Now moving to the winner's circle, the ninth race winner, number five, Pacific Rocket. Pacific Rocket is owned by R. Hefferling, Eddie Lomar, Jay Stoddard, and John Van Kirk of Ohio, Make That Canada, and New Jersey. Trained by Bill Robinson, driven to victory by Jack Moisea. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a track record 153, too fast. Even on the five, three, and one. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight in the pick seven, six of seven was the winner for $32.